looking for something to do this weekend, there's an event full of sights, smells, and tastes happening tonight in the upstate. Our Jamia Reed is joining us live in Greenville this morning with more about the event. Good morning, Jamia. Yeah, Destiny, the fourth annual bourbon and bacon fest is kicking off tonight. It'll be here at the foundry at Judson Mill. Organizers say the event will feature over 140 bourbon varieties, along with live music from two performers and food that features, of course, bacon from 12 local restaurants. The proceeds benefit Upstate Carolina Adaptive Golf. It's a nonprofit that helps adults and children with disabilities. Brandon Worley, who founded the organization, says they're looking to make a difference in the lives of those with disabilities through the event. That connected what golf can do to instill, you know, confidence and not just youth, but um, all populations that might have be overcoming a disability and focus on more of what, you know, what people can do versus what they what they're being told they can't do because of a disability. The Bourbon and Bacon Fest is tonight from 630 to 11 at the Foundry at Judson Mill. Tickets are starting at $30 and again, all proceeds benefit Upstate Carolina Adaptive Golf. If you're looking to purchase tickets online, go to bourbonandbaconfest.com. Live in Greenville, Jimmy Reed, WYFF News 4. Well, Clemson University is teaming up with the University of South Carolina and MUSC to create the first of its kind Alzheimer's Research Center in South Carolina. The project got $10 million in legislative funding for the center. It's still unclear where the center will go, but eventually it would give people the support with getting a diagnosis, managing treatment, opportunities for clinical trials and other services and resources. The United Way of Greenville County held its inaugural Women United Summit at the Greenville Convention Center. The summit was designed to bring together women from diverse backgrounds and industries for a day of inspiration, empowerment, and education. USC women's basketball coach Don Staley was the keynote speaker. Organizers say they were excited to hear her insight on teamwork, determination, and success. In order for us to really create the change that we want to see in our community, we have to bring women and our community together to solve those issues. And so we've done just that today to not only inspire, but to activate the women in our community to create the change that we know is possible. As we started this summit, we had one amazing speaker in mind, and that was Coach Dawn Staley. We knew that she would really help set the tone for how important it is to inspire and activate women in our community. The summit wrapped up yesterday. At 651, get your sweet tooth ready. Another Crumble Cookies location is opening in the upstate. The new location is in Easley on Rolling Hill Circle. A grand opening celebration will be held today and tomorrow from 8 a.m. to midnight. A Facebook post for the celebration says they're giving away a party box to one lucky winner. Bon Secours St. Francis and the Bon Secours Wellness Arena have announced October dates for the Well Walkers program. They're on your screen right now. It's every Tuesday and Thursday except for October 12th. The arena concourse will be open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for anyone who wants a cool indoor place to exercise. Each loop is a quarter mile. During the October 31st date, there will be a walk with a dock from 9 to 11 a.m. A Bon Secours doctor will be at the well to offer guidance about nutrition, preventative health, and chronic disease management. She'll walk laps with anyone wanting to talk or ask questions. Well Walkers is free with no registration required. Parking is also free in the VIP lot of the arena located off of Church Street. Wow, that's awesome. All right, it is 6.52. Let's get a final check of the roads with Hannah. Good morning, friends. Yeah, that is such a great program. My goodness, I love that. As you head out the door this morning, I-85 flowing so nicely in Greenville County. Take a look at your screen. This is right there at Pleasantburg. Pleasantburg looks good. Augusta, Lawrence, all of those roads in Greenville County that feed towards the interstate this morning. No issues. Hey, Wade Hampton even moving really nicely. Woodruff Road moving nicely. Can you believe it? Hey, I just had a viewer on Facebook reach out. Hey, what's the commute Greenville to Asheville this morning on I-26? Things look excellent. Highway 25 through Traveler's Rest, no issues. I-26 looks good, even where all of that construction is in Hendersonville this morning. Spartanburg to Greenville, you look excellent. Greenville to Spartanburg, same story all across the board. Our drive times are in the green, so airport to Woodruff Road, six minutes this morning on I-85 southbound. The rest of those southbound drive times are also all in green and right on time this morning. Good morning to roll down those windows and drive with the windows down to work. Sid? 
Yes, it is a perfect morning to do so. We've got those fall like temperatures as we look at our SkyCam network, starting to see a few breaks of sunshine beginning to move on into the region. We are seeing temperatures primarily in the lower 60s into the 50s in Asheville. So Western North Carolina feeling fantastic as well. So grab that cup of coffee, enjoy those comfortable conditions. Now today we'll see nice dry conditions. We'll see a few extra clouds drift in at times. Highs topping out near 80 degrees today into tomorrow. As we get on into Sunday, we'll be topping out a little bit warmer, lower 80s, and then Monday 84 degrees. But look at this, a beautiful weekend to get outside, enjoy all of the fall like conditions. And then as we head towards Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week, that will bring us a little bit more unsettled weather, but cooler temperatures will come with that as well.